guys, Kiki here, Sundays for the Revolution, and this week we're talking about depression. Uh, yes, I initially kind of made this video yesterday and um, before Carla's video went up, and I was going to talk about clinical depression because it really hadn't been talked about. Uh, the other guys mostly talked about situational depression. It was it, Clinical depression was touched on, but mostly it was talked about uh, situational uh, depression and then um, after I saw Carla's video I really everything I said was kind of what she said and so I thought um, just so you didn't watch the same video with a different person that I would go ahead and talk about something different one small note before I go on uh, yes I know this looks very different but it's actually the same room that I've done pretty much every video except for the few that's been in my room I've just repainted my room and I'm um, actually facing another direction but I'm pretty much in the exact same spot that I was before. Yes. Anyway, on to the video. Um, I wanted to talk about something that is related to depression. I mean, it is depression. Depression is part of it. And it is something that I'm intimately familiar with. Um, when I was 18 or 19 years old, I was diagnosed with bipolar 2. Um, and I know some of you are saying, there's another type of bipolar. Yes, yes, there is. Um, as with a lot of different... Uh, diseases or conditions. There are multiple versions. Uh, bipolar 1 is what most people are familiar with. It is the one where someone cycles between um, depression and mania. And the, usually the faster the cycle, the harder it is to deal with, from my understanding and my experience. Um, bipolar 2, however, it also is a condition where you cycle with mood swings um, and you but but instead of going from depression to mania you actually go from depression to uh, what's called hypomania which is not full-blown mania it's more like a medium to mild case of ADHD but in spurts um, I, before I was actually diagnosed by repeller 2 I was just diagnosed with depression and ADD but um, it came in cycles and they realized that they would be on the opposite side. I mean, I would go from depression to this ADHD-esque um, mind frame, I guess, um, where, I mean, not so much, there's some people that would would, would um, report being almost euphoric, but the top, what I would usually go into is, um, I would be extremely productive, do a bunch of things, but I'd start stuff usually. But I would never, it wasn't like a normal, like your normal productive self, where you're doing things that actually matter. It's more like I'd start a new project, but I'd get like halfway into it and decide I want to do that and then go do another one and um, be extremely talkative and extremely like social and just, I would be almost kind of a, a little weird and crazy, but not in a horrible bad way, just more of a, wow, this person is kind of hyper. Okay. Um, and uh, th there's a lot of people who've described people who are in hypomania as the life of the party, uh, that type of person, but you would cycle between that and being depressed. Um, yes, and usually in my depressive states, I just read. I don't leave my house, I just read. <laughs> because of that, that escape into fantasy. Now, um, one thing Carla talked about, and a few other people talked about, uh, Sophie talked about medication, and Carla talked about medication. Uh, I don't remember if everybody else talked about medication, but um, I am not medicated. Um, now, this is not something that I did lightly that I decided, nope, no more medication. No, it's something I talked with my doctor about. Um, and that's something very important. You should never, if you have any kind of condition, whether it be a physical or a mental condition. Do not just stop taking medication. You need to talk to a doctor about this. I'm not on medication because I have an aversion to taking medication. And I, I know that sounds weird, but my mother was a hypochondriac and not in the physical maladies, but in mental ones. And so she was very good at, at uh, being a nurse. She was very good at uh, working the system. And I was extremely medicated as a child, like given things that I really shouldn't have been given. And, um, my mother was always convinced I had something, I never, and all of the rest of us kids, like, she always was thinking something, we all had something. Um, anyway, so, um, 
I have aversion to taking medication and I am fortunate enough for me, fortunate enough for me with that aversion, I my, my bipolar, it's not unmanageable without medication. I just use uh, behavioral modification. Uh, a lot of things Carla talked about, she talked about triggers, it's very, very important. And just being very aware of where you are, especially in my instance where um, I cycle, I have to be very conscious of my cycles. I have to be very careful, uh, I'm very conscious of things that trigger, knowing what triggers me um, and, try, and, and, and knowing a way to keep away from the situation or if I am in the situation, recognize what's happening and have a contingency plan for getting out of that. Mostly the things, as I said, I do behavioral modification. Most of the things I do, um, exercise is extremely important. I mean, all the, I exercise all the time, but really making sure I, I, I try to keep up with that while I'm in my depression cycle. Trying to, um, yoga is something I started more recently, trying to keep up with that. Meditation, I meditate all the time. Um, it's definitely helpful. Um, I also have a network of friends and family, a great partner that help me during these periods when it's really hard for me to not to get into or to do to get things done just regular things when I'm in between cycles when I'm not in hypomania and not in my depression I'm like a regular normal person everything gets done and it's fine I don't even think about it um but when I'm on those two when I'm getting to the hypomania or I get into the depression um and the depression thing, I just want to read and I don't want to do anything. But when I get to the hypomania, I don't want to do anything productive. I just want to do the, the ideas that pop in my head and I never, that's why there's so many like halfway done crap that I have um, during those periods. It's kind of not helpful. Anyway, uh, yes, I guess that's all I wanted to say about it. I guess I will talk to you guys next week.